Telly is from the United States. She's from Colorado. Um, I adopted Telly when she was eight months old. So they, they handpicked her to be a therapy dog. And, and I, at that time, I was looking for a therapy dog to be my co-therapist, my companion at work. Every day when I see her work, she, she surprises me, I think, um, in the way she interacts with people and how attuned she is to people's emotions. Telly knows which, is, which kid is um, feeling especially vulnerable or sad and what they need, I think. And she's able to reach out to them in her, her own special way. And, and these kids come and tell me that, yeah, I think Telly knows how I'm feeling, you know. And Telly's there for me and, and, I, and these stories, they, even though I hear them a lot, they still warm my heart every time I hear it. And I like to get the students to, um, you know, brainstorm ideas about, hey, how can we help Telly, you know, if Telly gets angry or Telly gets scared about something, what can Telly do, right? And, and a lot of this, uh, ap these uh, suggestions that they have right, are not just applicable to Telly, but it's really applicable to their own lives. Right? And they don't, it's not, it's not in, done in a confrontational manner. They say that, hey, maybe if Telly can do this, right, so can I do, right? I think that in the Singapore culture, I think um, we always chase academic excellence, right? And that's the focus of a lot of parents, right? Um, you need to study hard, do well in school, go for a lot of tuition, I think. And we often neglect that, that social-emotional competence. I think it's important for children, especially from a young age, to develop um, their social-emotional skills because that will help to prepare them for challenges in future. Most Singaporean children um, are affected by peer relationships, I think. I think that's the main thing, you know. Um, that stresses them out more than more than the teachers and the homework. Um, I think it's you know, um, who are my friends? You know, do they like me? Uh, you know, am I cool in front of them? You know, um, am I included? I think I think a lot of self-esteem issues, social emotional learning is uh, very important for all children. You know, it doesn't mean that you have to have a problem to have uh, uh, to go for social emotional learning. I think everybody benefits from it. When, when children have better social-emotional skills, they tend to be happier, they tend to, um, to be able to manage themselves and their emotions a lot better. We really um, seek to help kids to, to recognise and manage their emotions, um, to develop positive relationships, to build confidence, to really handle challenging situations better.